Hello everyone, I'm Rod Wortham and welcome to this edition of Race Face Driver Updates. It looks like things are pretty close to returning to normal as most tracks are back to racing and adjusting their schedules to make up races that were canceled during the COVID-19. With that being said, let's get started with Anthony Alfredo, who took to the high banks of Talladega Super Speedway in his number 21 Dude Wipes Richard Childress Racing Chevrolet in his NASCAR Xfinity Series debut at Talladega. Anthony raced inside the top five for the majority of the race, leading a total of 10 laps and eventually bringing home a sixth place finish. Let's get the post-race recap directly from the driver. Just finished sixth here at Talladega Super Speedway, first Super Speedway race and first race at Talladega in a NASCAR Xfinity Series car. So I'd call it a successful day. To be honest, I wanted a little bit more. I'm never really satisfied and we had a super fast dude wipes Chevrolet Camaro today, the number 21 Richard Childress Racing crew did a great job. Uh, just The only thing we fought there at the end was we had no help from behind. Uh, every time I'd suck up to the guy in front of me, I'd kind of hit that bubble of air and shove him out and stall back out and I had not, I didn't have enough help. So we couldn't really make anything happen. Glad we were able to still uh, get sixth out of it. We had a clean race all day, got the lead laps early, uh, ran in the top three the whole first half of the race and then made our green flag pit stop and I sped coming to pit road. But that's just uh, honestly part of what happens when you don't have any practice. Uh, I could have practiced that, obviously we had at least a session or something like that. Uh, so I didn't know how hard I could break, where my lift point even really was, uh, and I just hit pit road too fast. Uh, probably as fast as Xfinity internet, but it's all good. We were able to recover from that, and even though we were in the back, our, our Camaro drove well enough for me to make passes all the way up to the front of the field and get back up there for a, a decent finish, but hats off to uh, our team today and everybody who supports me. I know our Dude Wipes Camaro looked best out front, and we still got a great finish. We are able to be clean and learn a lot. Um, just very thankful to be here and uh, thankful for everybody's support. I wish the fans and my family were here to share the experience, but uh, nonetheless, I know everyone supported me back home and, and was watching today, so I hope you all enjoyed the race. Also want to congratulate Justin Haley and the Colleague Racing Group uh, on their win. Uh, great to see ECR engines get the win and all of us run up front all day. So thank you for the support. Bye. That is four top ten finishes in six starts. Up next for Anthony, Indianapolis Motor Speedway, but on the road course. Jesse Love had a little fun this weekend getting some seat time in for this week's Arkham Menards West event at Utah Motorsports Campus by competing in the SCCA event in a spec Miata. Jesse started the race in 10th and patiently moved towards the front. He was sitting in second, tracking down the race leader before the race was shortened due to debris on the race course. That's a new one for ending a race. Jesse finished on the podium in second place. Joey East was in pro late model competition at Madera Speedway with Nate Clower Motorsport, where he qualified third, then ran in the top three most of the race and was battling Jeremy Doss for the lead on the final lap before a caution flew, ending the race one third of a lap early. I think Joey had Jeremy. Take a quick look at this last minute video and judge for yourself. Battle right now for third. He's caught Martin. I don't really think Erickson, good battle. Uh, without a restart, is going to win this thing, but he might work over for third. We have a mile of racing left to go. As We're we going to give you another shot stand. right here, Andy. Leaders go by right here. Here comes Erickson. Erickson right there in the blue car. Yep, working He's over. He's trying to work it over. Down. And Joey East is now all over the back bumper of Jeremy Doss. It'll be two laps to go, and they he just, is at the back door. They just passed Joey Brazil to put him a lap down. Lily Bade now trying to work over uh, McIntosh, but McIntosh just laps down. Lily trying to stay on the lead lap tonight. White flag coming White out flag next lap by Joey East, shopping around, trying to find Third a little a bit mile. different line. Now it's time to go for Joey East. He's got to get to the back of Doss coming down into one. I think it's going to be in turn three. A little bit of nose, little nose. Yeah, here we go. Nose. Here we go. Coming Joey down East the back straightaway. What do we got, Andy? Yellows, yellows, yellow out. Yellow is out. What an ending. Up next for Joey, Pro Late Models at Madera Speedway this weekend. Caden Cunnicutt made a last minute change due to a rainout and ran at Big O Speedway where he ran in both his Dirt Sport Modified and debuted his new Dirt Late Model. In the Modified, he won his heat race and started on the pole for the feature, but experienced some overheating issues and parked it early to make sure he did not damage the engine. 
In the dirt light model, he finished second in his heat, started fourth for the feature, and raced his way to a second place finish in his first outing in that late model. It's hard to explain just how impressive that finish was. Up next for Caden, a big weekend of racing at Five Flags Speedway in Pensacola, Florida, with his super late model in the Rowdy Energy Twin Blizzard 100s. Grant Thompson raced at Chris Motorsports Park for Augie Grill and the Grand American Race Car Team. Grant qualified second and took the green flag on the outside of the front row. Not the ideal place to start, and he lost a couple of positions early on. He battled through multiple restarts, always restarting on the outside, but drove hard to finish in fourth against some incredibly talented drivers in only his third start in a pro late model. Let's hear what Grant had to say after the race. Hello, race fans. Grant Thompson here. I just came here to tell you about my race recap. So at Chris Motorsports Park in my first ever late model race at that racetrack, we ended up qualifying in second place, which was really good for my first race. Um, started the night in second and uh, fell back to fourth after a restart. And uh, we came to another restart and I went off the back straightaway and fifth place got to the inside of me. Luckily, I was able to hold on to fourth place for the night. And uh, I caught up to third with about five to go and I wasn't able to get around them, but I'm super happy that we ended up getting up for the fourth place finish. I'd just like to thank Grand American Race Cars for everything they do. Hog Grill, PFC Brakes, AR Bodies, WCI Parts, Roger and Bobby Roos for everything they do to help the Swamp 12 car go really, really fast. Up next for Grant, Pro Trucks at Five Flags Speedway this Saturday night. Cassidy Hines was in Pro Truck action in her number 3C at Colorado National Speedway where she qualified eighth and brought home a top five finish in the A main. Let's hear a quick race recap from Cassidy. Hi everyone, I raced at Colorado National Speedway this weekend in my pro truck. I had a pretty good day of racing. I qualified eighth and in the main event, we were struggling with a little bit of setups. So it was a little bit pushy and tight on the rear end, but I did end up finishing fifth in that main. I would like to give a huge thank you to Kevin Stanky and all of my crew for helping with the truck and making it so great. And I would like to thank all of my sponsors and happy Father's Day, everyone. Up next for Cassidy, round one of the Junior Late Models at Madera Speedway in Madera, California. Jake Bowman ran his legend car at the Bull Ring at Las Vegas Motor Speedway for a two night show. On night one, Jake started fifth in the feature and parked it in victory lane. On night two, Jake started second in the feature and once again drove to a victory, picking up back-to-back -back feature wins for the weekend. Up next for Jake, he will also be back in his number 71 junior late model at Madera Speedway. Haley Constance traded the 600 micro sprint for a junior late model this weekend as she raced at State Line Speedway in her number 78 Joe Racing's products entry. Haley finished second in her heat and fourth in the A-Main, gaining a lot of experience in each start. Gavin Graham made the trip to Atlanta Motor Speedway for his first legend car race at that track. In race one, he led the first seven laps of the feature before driving too aggressively and spinning the car around, resulting in a fourth place finish. In the second feature, he started on the pole and never looked back leading every lap and parked it in victory lane. Up next for Gavin, next Wednesday and Thursday, back at Atlanta Motor Speedway in the Legend Car. That's it for this week's Race Face Driver Updates. And remember, if you've missed any of our shows, you can get caught up at raceface.tv on demand. This week, we have a special edition of Race Face Spotlight that will be filmed at Five Flags Speedway with both Caden Honeycutt and Grant Thompson. As always, we encourage you to support local racing in your communities. Don't forget to follow us on social media. We'll be back next week with more from your favorite race face driver. So go out there, have a great race week. I'm Rod Wortham. Thanks for watching.